Good morning, everyone. How is everybody doing this morning? Well, I am up bright and early. It is 6.15 by my clock on Alexa. Oh, she doesn't say anything. Oh, boy. No, she didn't hear me. Thank God for that. I keep forgetting not to say her name. But I am up very early in the morning because I do have plans, things I want to do today. I want to go shopping, you know, get some food in the house because I really don't have anything in here that I want to eat. Let me show you what I'm having for breakfast because I haven't had breakfast yet. And uh, I ain't been too long to get up. I put on a little lipstick and put my turban on and call it a day, y'all. I mean, you know, I live here. I'm home and I can't. I just can't. See, this is what, this is breakfast right here. Uh, let's see, can you see that? It's got potatoes in it, green beans, and there's some pieces of bacon in there. And I don't know if y'all used to have this, but my mother used to cook this. Um, hmm. Oh, my, oh, my lens got fogged up, y'all. I do believe. Oh, boy. Is it going to come clear? I shouldn't have put it up because that pot is hot. Oh, there it is. Because that pot is hot. And, I, you know, because I had it heating up. And uh, I guess the steam from that pot clouded my lens on my phone. I was getting ready to say, oh, no, my phone is at it again. It's going to act crazy again. But thank goodness I, I, you know, I realized what it is. And uh, so that's going to be my breakfast, y'all, because I got to take my medication. Ah, uh, ooh, I hate taking medication every day. Oh, that's what I say. Take care of yourself, y'all, if you can. If you can not get these, uh, you know, because I am, you know, I am elderly. I have stressed that enough up here. I'm quite sure I have. But, um, you know, if you can avoid getting these types of, uh, 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 uh what do you call it, illnesses? I don't know if they, yeah, they are illnesses because if you got high blood pressure, that's an illness. Um, high cholesterol, that's a problem. High, did I say high blood pressure? High blood pressure, sugar, whatever, anything along those lines. A lot of people refer to those as being like elderly uh, diseases, but that's not necessarily so. Because you can get these things when you're young too. But I believe that everything is preventable. So if you're able to prevent them, then you should start when you are young by eating right, exercising, you know, basically try to remain stress-free, which is not easy. Trust me on that one. Because I find myself being stressed for no apparent reason at all. I mean, I'm sitting around here, what am I worried about? I have no bills. I have food, I have adequate clothing, but then why am I stressed? Sometimes we're stressed about our children, our grandchildren. There's a thousand things that we can find that we're thinking, hey, I, uh, I got to find something to be stressed about. But you really don't. Just try to relax, which I find it hard to do. As you can see, sometimes the frowns on my face, you know, are itched in my forehead because, you know, worrying about something or either being upset. I have found myself being upset for no apparent reason at all. Nobody's done nothing to me. I'm just sitting around here. Sometimes I get up in the morning, oh, brother, it's like, oh, the world is on my shoulder and I never could figure out why. And, uh, you know, nobody knows why a person feels the way they do. It's not every day, you know, but it just happens sometimes, you know. And even sometimes you can walk into a room, a crowded room, and uh, you could feel some tension or something that's in that room. It's almost like another spirit or something is in there. Something ain't right. There's some anger in here somewhere. Or either you could feel when a person is happy. You could look at them and tell, oh, wow, they feel so happy. I wish I could feel that way, you know. And so we all have those different things. 
I don't know if y'all wanted to hear that early in the morning. You know, sounding like my mother, I guess. But anyway, I came up here because um, I hadn't been up here in a couple of days. And I'm feeling a little better than I was the last time, even though I still got a little froggish, you know, a little frog in, in here. And um, well, basically, I think that's it. I did get my mopping done. But I didn't vacuum. But I did, you know, sweep up. I swept up a lot of the... Uh, popcorn that was around here um, on the floor and stuff like that. So I've been trying to move it along. And uh, another reason I had wanted to get up here is because my daughter called me. Well, actually, she texted me the other day about one of my videos. She says, maybe you're talking too much. People think you got roaches. I said, no, they don't. You know, I said, I don't think they... And she's talking about the roach trap, you know, the little box that I had showed y'all on one of my videos. But that, I do not... Let me let me clarify something, y'all. Let me let me put this up front. I do not have roaches. Let me stress that out right now. Even though I have a roach motel sitting in my kitchen, it's because... The exterminator had left those here for me to put around in the house because I had an infection, I mean, not an infection, an infestation of the thousand legs. What do you call them things other than the centipedes? And so he says, put these around in your house. He's got, you know, and, and I put those around in my house. It's certainly because I got no roaches. You know, but it's caught some, uh, I think, some ants. <laughs> it catches, you know, some little things, if the little critters, if they're crawling around, it, it will catch them. And I think I got um, one of those hard shell bugs. You know, you know, I don't know what you call them. Uh, they're like a beetle, a little hard shell. You know, they have a little hard shell on them. And, you know, being that I live on the first floor, I'm going to have a lot of critters. But roaches ain't one of them. Trust me on this one. And uh, I did tell you about the spider. Matter of fact, I have actually caught a spider in one of those things, you know. And so, you know, they're there for a reason. Doesn't necessarily mean you got roaches because you got a roach hotel. I guess that's what they call them. Uh, that thing, you know, they check in, but they don't check out. It don't look like the little roach hotels that you seen, you know, years ago, advertising on TV. They check in, but they don't check out. I said, oh, my goodness. I said, at first, I was going to look for the video because I forgot which one that she was talking about. I said, I can't find the video. I asked her, does she remember which video it was so I could, you know, take that out? Because, you know, I don't want people to think I walk around here with the... Uh, Roaches, because you really, these days in time, you really don't have to live with uh, uh, those type of critters in your house. You know, bed bugs, thank God, knock on wood, I didn't have any bed bugs. But it doesn't mean that you're dirty, because you got bed bugs, you know. And so let me clarify, I just want to clarify that, you know, just for the sake of, you know, being, uh, just the sake of uh, clearing things up, because that's what she thought. That's what she was thinking. And let me show you what I ordered from Amazon. I should have known better, y'all. I really should. I ordered four. There's four of these. Um, I think you should be able to, you know, I'm still trying to do the makeup thing a little bit here and there. I don't even know. Like I said before, I don't know what to buy. Look at this. For the love of Pete. What? What am I going to do with this? I don't have a clue. What Do I put it on the tree? I don't see nothing, y'all. I don't know. Smells good, though. Hey. I had this in the mail yesterday, and I got so frustrated because I didn't—I didn't even try this one at all. Um, I'm trying to find the one that I did try because it was, you know, color, but it's a matte, you know, like a, I think this might be one. 
See that? I don't... Smells good too. Smells almost like chocolate. It's by... Huh? Wait a minute now. Where's my spyglass? Where it? You know what? Oh, here it is. Here's my spyglass. I'm getting ready to say I done misplaced my spyglass. Hold on, y'all. Let me see. It says, I got it from Amazon. It says it's a blush stick. And it says a hand, H-A-N-D-A-I-Y-A-N. I guess that's the name. I don't know, y'all. I really don't. I just saw it and say I need a blush stick. And this is what they sent me. Well, you know, it didn't cost that much. I think it was about... Look at me. I'm trying to look at y'all with a spyglass. Oh, for goodness sake. Um, They each have... Wait a minute. Uh, there's a number in the back. I guess if you wanted to order it, it would be like a... But all of these came... This is like a set. Like this one is a number 10. And the other one was a number 8. There's actually four, like I said. Now this one is a number 5. Let's see what color this is, I, I tell you. Because I would just get ready to pack it right on up. Send it right back to Amazon. Because these colors, these colors look nothing like they did. Look at that. Look nothing like they did when, you know, in the description. And it's like a mat. Now, you know that don't go with me. I like reddish. I like red colors, not bright on. Maybe if I mixed it with something, it might be a little better. I'm not sure. I haven't, whoops. I haven't tried that. And what's the other color? Ah, get this open. Should have had this open, but I, I, I wasn't planning to show y'all this. Now, this looks almost like. Wait a minute. Is that? That's almost the same. Now, isn't it? Isn't it? Let's see. No, it's a little different. This is more browner, I believe. They just like. Wait a minute. Let's get let's get three of them together. It all will except the white one. See? And so this is browner and this is another little color. I don't know if I could put that on my cheeks. I'm not I don't know if I want any of this stuff on my cheeks or anywhere on me, period. But I'm debating, should I send it back? Because, well, I already use it, but it shouldn't matter. And I, I don't know if they go into a special box, which, oh, sugar honey. Almost cussed this morning, y'all. Trying to stop cussing. <laughs> which I have. I have just about stopped cussing. Every now and then, something might slip, you know. But... Hey, sometimes you just can't seem to help it. It's like a part of your daily routine, daily vocabulary, should I say. It, you know, some people have, have a, a vocabulary. It's just in there. But what's making it look real bad, though, is when somebody just cuss, 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 cuss. That, that uh, makes it look real, real bad. Any cussing make a woman look bad to me. But... Sometimes you just can't have it. As simple as that. Eh. So, I haven't... Hmm, I haven't ordered anything else from Amazon. Except some popcorn. Something else to help mess up my... Mess up my floor. Right down here where my computer... Where's my... Back? Oh, here's the thing. I had it. Got my little Amazon Prime right here. Ready. But I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Because I don't like the... I don't know what they do with stuff like that after you send it back. I really don't. I know that. Do they sell it? Or do they... I've seen on... Uh, on YouTube... How these people buy the stuff... You know, that Amazon... The Amazon returns. They have like a... Uh, what do you call it? A great big... 
something and they have it all boxed up and you could buy it and you don't know what really know what you're buying but a whole bunch of stuff is in there and so you pay a certain price you know a price for it and then that whole container whatever is yours for a price and I'm wondering if they do that for makeup hmm you know I never thought of that I don't think I'm going to send it back I think I'm going to keep it you know, because I, even before when I sent back this wig, but I said wigs are a little different. They try wigs on in the store all the time, and then you put a cap on, you know, because they send the uh, wig cap with you when you buy the wig cap. And so I did send a wig back, but I've never sent, well, I never ordered anything like this before. <clears throat> I sent pots and pans back. I sent my pants, you know, the um uh, toaster oven things that I had bought, I sent them back because I didn't like them, and plus one of them had a dent in it. Uh, quite a few things I've sent back, but I don't think I'm going to send this back because I did have it. I tried it on my lips. This is not it right here. This is not it. This is, uh, I'll show you what this is. This is this little tube. I have two of these uh, same tubes. I got those from that... Um, Cosmetic store, I think. They only cost like $2. They're not a gloss. They're more like a... I don't do nothing but eat it off anyway, huh? That's why I want to get the kind. I want to get some lipstick like I had once before. I had this lipstick before that it was... Stay, I think it, it might have been Revlon. I'm not sure. But it stays on your lips for a really long, long time, like all day. I don't care what you lip, your lips, you do this and you do that. That lipstick stays on. And so I got to look for that. Matter of fact, if I go to this, um, I want to go to Walmart. Because I want to get me some canned um, mandarin oranges. I love Walmart's canned mandarin oranges. And I used to get, you know, I, I had them, I had quite a few of them in my bedroom. You know, I got the stacks and stacks, you know, cans in my bedroom, canned goods. And I tell you, I got to eating them bad boys, and I done ate all my mandarin oranges. The only thing I got, I got some peaches. I got the peaches that are packed in the juice. And I, I'm looking for the lens, y'all, because I forget to look in that lens when I, I don't even know where the heck that lens is. Is it there? I don't know. I think that's it. But anyway, I'm going to talk in there just for a minute because I'm about to hang up. The, I'm about to ready to close the video. And the peaches that are 100% that are in pear juice or something like that, I don't like those. But I found out how I can eat them. I got like four cans of them bad boys. And I usually get my peaches packed in the heavy syrup. How I picked those up, I will never know. It must have been the only ones they had on the shelf. Maybe that's why I got them. I don't remember. But <clears throat> I, I want to see the. Uh, I want to go to the big, you know, big store to see if Walmart has any. And then my uh, my daughter, my not my daughter, but my granddaughter was telling me that um, she's a member of the big box store. I think it's called BJ's or something. And, you know, I want to go to a big box store where they are stocked. You know, you can't go to these little neighborhood places, you know, like, uh, well, the store that I go to is a big, it's a big, regular size, um, you know, grocery store and everything like that. It's a, uh, famous around here in these parts of where I live. It's called Stop and Shop. But it's in a, like a neighborhood, you know, like a neighborhood type you know, where a lot of people can actually walk there, you know, especially people that don't have a car or something like that, they can actually walk. Like me, I can take my scooter and ride over there. I can be there in about five, anywhere from five to seven minutes. I think I stressed that before that, it, you know, I'm, I'm very close to it. But sometimes they're sold out of stuff, you know, because they're living in a certain, you know, vicinity. Anyway, y'all, I got to get off the video. My 20, oh my goodness. 20 minutes. I can't, I can't believe it that I've been actually yakking for 20 minutes. Have a blessed day.